Hello and welcome to a very simple tutorial on how to in download and install Fabric for 1.18.2. So the first thing, at least one of the first things you need to do is go onto the website fabricminecraft.net. Now it is not actually Minecraft, it's just Fabric mc.net you can also click the link down in the description so that you can just easily access the website instead of having to search it up uh, and the next thing you would want to do next simple step that you're going to want to do is hop over to the minecraft launcher and what you're going to want to do is click on the latest release uh, tab 1.18.2 now if that's not there all you have to do is go to your installations click on new installation uh, search up the 1.18.2 uh, new release type whatever you want say in this case 1.18 uh, That's 15 18.2 and then Change your profile if you want and then click create and now I have Let me go back to play now. I have the 1.18.2 uh, Version selected you're gonna want to click play and this will install uh, this minecraft version now I already have that installed so I'm not gonna bother clicking on that I'm gonna minimize for now actually know what I'm gonna actually exit out for now and hop over back to fabric so the next thing you're gonna want to do on the fabric website is click on the download button on the top uh, very top right pretty much and when you get to here you will see minecraft minecraft launcher download for windows or download universal jar so the difference here, I usually just stick with Universal Jar. For downloading on Windows, uh, it still works. If you have Java already installed onto your PC, it's just simpler that way. If you use the Fabric installer uh, through Windows, then it's basically the same thing, just slightly different. One's Windows, one is for, you know, if you have Linux or something. So I'm going to download both of them, actually, and show you both of those. So first off, I'm going to start with the uh, Java because I'm most familiar with that. When you double click on it, this is going to show up. And what it's going to show here is server and client. You're going to keep the tab on client. And then what you're going to want to do is change your Minecraft version to 1.18.2. If it is not already selected, you can click on it, select it, select whatever version actually as low as 1.14. But in this case, we're going to do 1.18.2 uh, show snapshots. So you can even do fabric for certain snapshot snapshots as well, which is absolutely insane. Next thing you're going to click on is the load version. Uh, and basically what this is, is the uh, the basically the fabric version of this Minecraft version. So there's way older versions of fabric. And then of course there's the newest one i would just stick with the newest uh, fabric version and then of course you can click installation location and i would just do uh the dot minecraft folder you can click on this here and then change it uh, if you wish you can create a profile as well and what that profile means is if you go to installations you will see like right here it says fabric loader 1.18 1.18.2 this will come up into your installations automatically so you don't have to go and click on new installation search it up you won't have to do any of that it just automatically does it for you so in this case i'm gonna uh turn it off since i already have that but you can click it on uh, select it if you wish i'm gonna click install and then boom fabric loader uh, has been successfully installed many mods also require you to do uh, to put fabric api into the mods folder so what that will be i will show you in a bit basically you're putting this uh, additional mod that's what this api is to be compatible with the the actual gameplay mods next i'm going to show you the uh, windows version so once you double click on that this will come up as well so it is essentially the same thing you can show the snapshots disable the snapshots it's it's really just the same thing the only difference is this is for specifically windows so if you have a linux a computer then or a mac then you're not going to be able to use this you're going to have to download uh java and then get that universal jar ready to go for you so the next thing that you're going to want to do to allow all these mods to work for fabric 
is you're gonna want to go to the curse forge this is where, where i go ma mainly for my mods and the link is down in the description so you won't have to search up this whole uh, um, website address but instead uh click on that link in the description and then it'll bring you to here which is the fabric api mod for from C curse forge and so there are multiple files for this if you go to files right here you will be able to see all the files all of them which is really really nice so even as you can see right here even the snapshots for 1.19 which is absolutely amazing but in this case we're going to go to fabric api 1.18.2 because that's what we're going to need and it says updated last uh four hours ago which is great meaning it just recently got an update maybe some patches and such so you're going to want to click on this download file you can also do it here minecraft 1.18 but if you're doing an older version you're not going to see it in the recent files you're going to have to go into that files as you can see right here into that files uh tab and then go scroll all the way down to whatever it is that you want to do or click on this view all as well so I'm going to click on the download file since it is the official release. It will start uh, your download in about five seconds. Once it finishes, it should take me to. Okay, never mind. But it probably will take you to another page uh, that will have an ad. Just exit out of the ad. And as you can see right here, we are in the download uh, file ready to go. Click save. Now it downloaded for me. I can double click it and it will do nothing pretty much so instead what you're going to want to do you're going to want to go to your search and then type run and then once you type run this will come up type percent app data percent click on ok files will come up and what you're going to want to search for is dot minecraft double click on dot minecraft go to your mods file and right now i have some other mods in there but what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads or wherever you put that file and you're going to drop it into your mods uh, folder for Minecraft. And then there you go. You'll start. You'll be able to start using the fabric mods that you put also put into this file. So that's everything you need to know to actually start using mods for fabric. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was simple enough for you. And let me know down in the comments if there's any questions that you have. I'll be happy to help the best I can and reply as quick as I can. Have a fantastic day. Bazooka the like button. Consider subscribing because I am going to continue to do more tutorials like this. And have a fantastic day. Be safe out there. See you later. Thank you for watching till the end. Check out this video here that was suggested by YouTube and have a great day.